Hello, welcome to Electrical Engineering Questions and Answers. Today I am going to explain the starting method of split phase induction motor. The split phase induction motor is also called resistance start motor. The motor is single cage type rotor and the stator part of this motor is divided into two parts, 1, main winding, 2, auxiliary winding. This is the diagram of split phase induction motor. This is the rotor part which is single cage type and these are the stator parts. This winding is called main winding or running winding, and, this winding is called auxiliary winding or starting winding. Main winding and auxiliary winding are displaced 90 degree in space like the winding in a two phase induction motor. A resistor is connected in series with auxiliary winding. The auxiliary winding has low inductive reactance and high resistance. So auxiliary winding current I A nearly in phase with line voltage. And the main winding has high inductive reactance and very low resistance. Thus the main winding current I M lags behind the supply voltage V by nearly 90 degree. So there is a phase difference between two winding currents. The phase difference is nearly 30 degree. This phase difference is enough to produce rotating magnetic field. Keep in mind that the current of two windings is not equal, so the rotating field is not uniform. Starting torque is less than the running torque. After getting 70 to 80 percent of synchronous speed, the starting or auxiliary winding is disconnected from the supply by using this centrifugal switch. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel.